What's your goal in life? What challenge are you trying to overcome? Imagine being run over by a boat, mangled in the propellers, losing your life twice, and then having a leg amputated. Today you're going to hear a true story of how one man overcame adversity, and how you can too. Meet Todd Houston, the indisputable king of the mountain. Someone who overcame all of this and more to achieve world records in some of the world's most incredible challenges. Todd Houston knows how to overcome challenges. Not only did he have to contend with the physical scares, but he also had to deal with emotional and mental challenges to be able to rise to the top. He had to overcome losing his wife, money, home, and job all in one week. But he never gave up. Todd had a desire to show others how to become their best. But first, he knew he must prove that the impossible could be done. Trained as a financial advisor and psychotherapist, he wasn't interested in promoting quick fixes or emotional appeals and empty promises. To accomplish this, he set out to do something that people considered impossible, to climb the highest point in all 50 states, something that had only been completed by a handful of people and never by a leg amputee. You may have heard Todd Houston's story. He's touched the lives of millions. He's been featured in Sports Illustrated, National Newspapers, CBS Year in Sports, Inside Edition and Extra, and in books such as More Than Mountains, The Todd Houston Story, and Chicken Soup for the Soul. Todd has won numerous awards, including the USJC's 10 Outstanding Young Americans, which puts him right up there with greats like John F. Kennedy, Howard Hughes, Chuck Yeager, and Elvis Presley. Todd has devoted his life to encourage people and show them that the impossible can be done. Remember Monty Python used to say, and now for something completely different? <laughs> okay, well that's what you're getting ready to get. But there was something different about my mountain climbing, and that is of course um, a one-legged mountain climber. Now do you remember which leg that was? The right leg. The right leg, that's right. So this is actually uh, my artificial leg right here. And to give you an idea, if you can't see it in the back, here. There you go. This is, this is my leg. And uh, yoga is really easy. I can't put my foot behind my head. No problem. <laughs> so, uh, let me kind of give you a little idea of what happened. I was back behind a boat when I was 14 years old, and I was water skiing when the boat accidentally slipped in reverse. As the boat was coming back towards me, I tried to swim out of the way, but I was uh, up in the uh, ski ropes, and when I looked over my shoulder, I could see the propeller as it was churning up the water, and I could hear the engine as it was roaring next to me. So I quickly tried to just swim away as, as fast as I could, I got tangled up in the ski ropes, and the next thing I knew, a wham, and I was hit. And both of my legs were sucked into the propellers. So I could uh, feel the propellers as they were crawling up my legs, tossing my lower body back and forth underneath the water, it's pulling me under, I'm trying to keep my head above water so that I could breathe. And then the next thing I knew, it came to a grinding halt. I opened my eyes, and you've probably seen the movie Jaws. This dark green Oklahoma water had now turned to a very bright red. I knew that I'd been hit. My father reached down, pulled me out of the water, and at that point I could see how bad it was. My entire left thigh was ripped open to the bone. The back side of my right leg was missing except for a few pieces of muscle dangling down, and my knee had been slashed in half. So they threw me in the bottom of the boat, blood squirting two, three feet out of my left leg because it hit my main artery, my femoral artery. 
They're trying to throw the towels on me to stop the bleeding. Of course, I'm screaming, why me? Why? And whenever you go through something really traumatic, have you ever asked yourself that question? Or something has happened to somebody that you, you love and care about? And sometimes we get our answers right away. Sometimes it takes a long time. In my case, literally decades before I would understand what all this would mean. So I quit my job and put a notice in where I lived. So I, uh, I lost my home, my job, my wife, and of course she went by the bank on her way out, and my money all in one week. So you might say it was kind of a rough week. But I learned by then that whatever challenge we have that hits us, every challenge has an opportunity in it. There's never a challenge that will not have an opportunity, a lesson, a chance for you to grow, a chance for you to become more of what you can become. I do is I'll take my uh, ice axe here and I'll use this edge and I'll steer my way down the mountain. When I'm ready to stop, I take this edge here, dig it in, lay down on top of it, and I stop, hopefully. Of course, you don't see the 600 foot cliff that I was getting ready to go off of there. Now, if you ever wonder if I ever fell, look at this ice axe. Does it look like I've ever fallen before? Yes, I have fallen many, many times. But you know that the mark of a true winner is not whether or not you fall. Anybody that's ever done anything great has a series of falls before they ever get there. But what's important is that you get back up, and you get back up every single time. Not one time, not three times, not 187 times, every single time. But get the best. Because if you don't, you're going to end up in, I don't want to say your business is going to for sure, but I saw people ending up in body bags because they thought they were good. They thought they could do it. They thought they had the right people, but they didn't. I was going to try and climb to the highest elevation of each state, something only 32 people in the world had ever done, right? A leg amputee had never accomplished it. Well, I did become the first disabled person to climb to the highest elevation of all 50 states. Also, the world record for doing it was 101 days. Well, instead of doing it in 101 days, because I went out and got the best, I ended up doing it in 66 days, 22 hours, and 47 minutes, thereby shattering the world record, which nobody has been able to break to this day by over 35 days. So, I hope that you make the decisions to get to the top and do whatever it takes to get you there. And when you get there, I'll look forward to seeing you.